Rah, rah, Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake and I'm in the wrong place because today with me we have Lachlan! Yes! He has returned! I have, and the also, prodigal son. And also Ben from, from Nolan TCG. I am not the prodigal son. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I can already see the thing below me saying prodigal son or something. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Ben. Um, I won locals today. How much Tuesday go? I You're back on cash. What... I think you went next yeah, one. Yeah, I think I just went next one on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Anything yeah. Yeah. interesting about those things? Second. Uh, not really. No, I just played Came cash second for a change. Did, did cash things. Yeah. It was just whoop, whoop, done, whoop, whoop, done. Today I played into Nibiru for literally yeah, no reason. That. And I got Nibiru and I was like... Do you want it anyway? I literally didn't need to do this. <laughs> I, I just prosperityed after doing full combo. I was like, I'll do full combo, I'll prosperity. Have a look at what I've got. See if it's something I can disrupt him with. Milled absolute garbage, but I milled birth. So I was like, oh, well, grab birth. And I activated the birth and I was like, uh, why not just use the birth? I uh, just use the birth to summon a unicorn so that if he used the monster effect, I could rip out of his extra deck. He was playing a trap trick. And he did. He did use a monster effect. Yeah, he just used an Iberia on my fucking thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not good. Um, but yeah. Lachlan knew maybe one of the cards that we were talking about. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Nibiru. Yeah, good good work. Uh, yeah. What about Master Duel? Um, oh, yeah, I've been playing the Attribute Festival. Yeah, how I've are you finding it? I've been playing Prank It's. Prank kids. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a solid chance. It says attribute instead of attribute. Attribute, yeah. Two different words, it's fine. Um, no, 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 no. It's no, they're the same. same word. There's many of those words, Ben. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Then I'm saying it correctly. No. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, anyway. But anyway, prank kids, how's it going? Prank, uh, it's going oh, fine. It's exactly how it's going. Are it's you like, playing adventure prank or just prank? Well, you see, the adventure engine is banned. Uh, oh, it's yeah, banned for the Wonder attribute? Griffin, no, Wonder Griffin Rider is banned. It must ah. But yes, I'm playing the adventure engine because I didn't realize before I crafted it. Uh. <laughs> yes, I crafted the rest and then was like, oh. But then I was like, ah, it's still a bounce. Sure, I'll still play it. It's actually been... And it also still chain blocks what you needed to chain no, block. No, not when you're playing on mobile phone. No. Oh, yeah. No, oh, when you're yeah. playing on mobile phone, you can't chain block. <laughs> so not only does it not chain block, um, you resolve in order of... I figured out how chaining works on phone, by the way. It's alphabetical order. So. Oh, that's so dumb. There was a situation where my opponent had 500 life left, and I had dropsies and lampsies. And I was like, uh, link two um, into this. Uh, dropsies burn for 500. Uh, lampsies burn for 500, chain link two. And my opponent was like, uh, ash this. And I was like, so rude. I'm really lucky that I can just still resolve this somehow. <laughs> uh, I had called by and I was like, I'm happy I can call by this Ash, but really unhappy that I couldn't chain block this. Fair. Fair. I know Ash. You do? That's another one? Yes. Um, Man still hasn't fully had to be taught anything in modern Yu Gi Oh yet. Modern Yu Gi Oh is fucking shit. Hmm. Yeah. There was, yeah. a, there was a I brief realized. moment I liked it. Yeah. Um, there was a brief moment Jake liked it because Jake was playing a teaser deck. Hmm. It was fun. Fun times. Uh, my week. Um, Tuesday, I think I went next week. You... <laughs> How was your week in Yu Gi Oh? Uh, you walked into locals today and watched us play? Yeah, I cucked Yu Gi Oh. Anyway. I got cucked Yu Gi Oh. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, went X1 on Tuesday. Um, I don't think there was anything particularly amazing about that. Um, I don't remember it, so I'm going to assume not. Um, and then today I went X2. It was not great. Um, I just no, don't you like... you stunk it up. I don't like Cash. I really don't. Cash Jake, or Ash? Jake has this vendetta against Cash Tira. I don't like it. I'm just like... Oh, I'll tell you what, I did see Labyrinth. Yeah. My god. <laughs> yeah, I also don't like that deck. I still rick, don't respect rick, that deck. <laughs> no, I don't like it either. I blew up the back row against Chad twice, and he still won. Yeah, I blew I up the back row game. against Chad twice, and he scooped. <laughs> yeah, but in this one, he top decked Ash. 
Ah, uh, in this one, I top decked the Harvey's Feather Storm. Uh, Harvey's Feather Duster. Well, so did he, but then he oh, got yeah. ashed afterwards. Yeah, so he sent uh, the Link 5 Tri Brigade that yeah. sent Garura to draw one. It was the only card in his hand and he drew the ash for my brand of fusion. I was uh, very uh, upset. Uh, uh, Chad had uh, Skill Drain, Double Judgment, um, Trap Trick. And I was like, huh, this is going to be tough to get through. So then I like played around to try and force it out of the skill drain. And then I got double judgmented and I was like, huh, this is problematic. Like I had even lead once to bait the first judgment. Then I tried to play around and out the skill drain and got second judgmented. I was like, this is a problem. Uh, next turn he like flip trap trick set uh, the punishment he won. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you yeah, dogmatic punishment. Uh, summon the labyrinth from hand, but he's on the skill drain. So I was like, oh, what does this do? Actually, you're in a skill drain. I'm not going to bother about it. Uh, and then I top deck Duster for turn, activate the Duster and he scoops. <laughs> like, yeah. Good times. Yeah, so he got to a point in his where he had like the original um, Big Mummy Labyrinth uh -huh. and it just sets a normal trap from Grave and he already had D barrier in rotation. Uh, so I literally couldn't play. That yes. Labyrinth got me feeling some kind of way. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Master Duel. Um, I'm already <clears throat> at Diamond 1, so I haven't been playing any ranked games, but I have been playing in the Attribute Festival as well. Um, I didn't have anything built at first, um, so I was playing the loner decks. The loner decks are trash. Yeah, I played against someone playing um, Infernoid? Infernoid. Yeah, I don't think they know how Infernoid worked. Yeah, it's very much boom or bust with Infernoid because yeah. I was trying that no, at first. No, no. I just don't think they know how Infernoid worked. Oh like, yeah, player or like yeah, the, the, the opposing player. Oh, okay. Like he activated uh, Vanishment, Searched Imagination. Which is summon the fusion monster if I control something, something from the extra deck. Didn't and had something from the extra deck, you just scooped. Ah. He added it and I was like, oh, I've lost. And he scoops and I was like, no, I didn't. <laughs> I was going to say, if you're able to resolve Vanishment, like, the only AIDS thing is it doesn't have um, Entus as a target because it's light type, so you have to get those... Oh, it didn't have the Entus? Maybe I wouldn't have lost. Well, it's okay. got the um, Skull Knight or whatever it is, so it's slow Entus. Ah, it's fine. I wouldn't have lost. Um, yeah, I was playing that for a bit. It was garbage. Then I had to play a little bit more ranked in order to get enough tokens to craft the cards we were missing from my Speedroid deck from ages ago. So now I'm playing Speedroid Wind Witch. Okay. I, I don't know I how like that, Wind Witch. I don't know how that deck works. I just Speed throw Roids monsters are... at the board and hope it doesn't yeah, that's think. the thing. Speedroids <laughs> just keep going and going and going, and then they end on literally nothing. Well, that's why win. I put the Crystal Wing... Um, Wind Witch, Witch package yeah, in there because yeah. I was like I don't know what the speed roads are doing well enough to actually get to a competent board so I'll at least Wind have Witch this send you. No. it was a good deck back in the day I mean in the attribute festival it'd be fine um, but yeah have you been up to much in the year that you've been away year and a half almost um, I went to a tournament about this time last year what did you play against? Brandon? I can't remember guess what we're still playing against Brandon <laughs> Jake's still playing it uh, then I, I won the charity tournament. Oh yeah, that was the thing. And I pulled a Starlight, uh, Earth Charmer. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, from the box. And, uh, do you remember what deck I beat you with in the final, Jake? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Would you like to say? Nope. It was um... your Senju. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cause no one thought to ban anything from it. <laughs> I just double OTK'd. Um, and then I played a bit of Master Door, and I'm almost Grand Champion in Rocket League, so that's pretty good. It's been some things. Actually, this year might be the first one of your charity things that um, Alistair doesn't get banned immediately. <laughs> no. Nope. even do one this <laughs> year. <laughs> what do you mean? What? We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll need to find a new charity. What happened well, to the other same one? charity. I don't work for that company anymore. And also the time of year as well, isn't it August? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we'll be in another country. We'll get to that though. We'll do something. Um, I yes. reckon. What charity could we go to? We'll figure out a charity. There's if you lots. have a charity, that you we think could send we it to the, the Syrian regime. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you have a charity that you think that we should donate towards, Taliban could probably use the cash. Comment oh, section God. down below. Okay, so moving into some news. Uh, so we start with Master Duel. Uh, we do have an incoming ban list. Um, not too much of a surprise considering no. they've reached T0 no. very quickly. 10 seconds after the deck release, yeah, we're getting not... a ban list. Yeah, within, I feel like within the, the I week. see ban lists for this every week. They, they do, do one every month. month. Yeah. This, this month they've done two. Because they needed to e-ban some stuff. 
Meanwhile, main game ban list like twice a year sometimes. Like no, we it's been a while since. Months. Yeah, it's been a while. The, the three, four times a year. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas. We get Christmas ban lists. It's Christmas. Um, yes, main guy slot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, this one will be coming into effect as of the first of May. Uh, so forbidden, we have instant fusion. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm fine with no this. No big surprises there, really. Um, kind of need to go. Although, um, Pendiff K is no longer possible. Oh, Frank no. Fuck! Ruined. Careful of the walls! No, fuck <laughs> these walls. Frank is ruined. I'm oh, not yeah. even playing that in Frank is in, oh, wow. in the attribute festival. You had to link once, Just today. forgot that it was there. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I was like, what can I play in the Link 1 festival? Literally just went to all my URs that were playable and was just like, in the deck, in the deck, in the deck, in the deck, in the deck. Every in the time deck, I play deck, a deck, festival. Oh, wait, there's a prank in here? Oh, I wonder how my prank in stuff's legal. I was like, oh, this is all legal. Okay. Every time there's a festival, I just look at what's relevant, like, not even relevant, what I can put into a deck, and I just put it into a deck, and then I lose a lot. Yeah, I thought I was going to do that, and then I looked at my decks. So I was like, oh, all of them are chaos typing. I have to build something. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah, I'm, I'm really shocked by uh, so yeah, that one's banned. Uh, then we have Limited, King of the Swamp, and Foolish Burial Goods. Aww. The Foolish Burial Goods going to one was strange. I get it, because there's idiots playing that in their fucking Tyrellamence I lists. don't particularly... Uh, I understand why they're doing it, but I don't rate it. I'm not about it. Yeah. I just never liked that card for some reason. I have no reason not to. I just really don't like Foolish Burial it, Goods. It has its place. I just don't think that deck was it. It's shite. <laughs> um, it's how you search Triple P. Just it's open it. The fuck no. is Triple Just P? Uh, yeah. Primeval Planet, Planet. Perlerino. As you say, Jake plays the deck obsessively for the past six months. Doesn't even know because we just call it Triple <laughs> P. I knew what it was. I know. New Diagram. I'd, I'd argue it was probably better than Diagram because it can activate off turn. Um, is Search? E Pop. E Pop is on best. other turn. If you're going to play this game again, you're going to have to learn so much. <laughs> <laughs> Literally so much. E e search. Whenever one gets shuffled back, you e pop. Mm. <laughs> well, you won't, in fairness, you won't have to worry too much about that because in the e actual physical, physical card, card game, game that deck is almost completely unplayable. Um, what deck? Tier element. Tier element. Uh, that was the deck you played, right? Correct. Still, like, well, we all played it at one point. And I played it for you, three weeks. You really so liked it, day. right? For sale. Huh? You really liked it. I did. And it got banned. Uh huh. Really bad. Yeah. Unplayable. It has not unplayable, just really bad. It has seven cards limited, one band. Mm. Yep. That's okay. For a lot of it's honestly it's the first time that I've ever had a deck that's ever been hit at all. And I it know got hit, it got hit real hard. <laughs> I'm aware. Also, all the shit that King of the Swamp's been doing for all these years, to elements what get gets it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reverse I thought that was Shrek. He's reverse Harry. Reverse Harry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You don't know. Oh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> uh, Semi Limited, we have Change of Heart. Yeah. Nice little thing to have, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It targets, so it's just as useless as anything else, right? Uh, well, actually, yeah, Wild Sprite Elf is still a thing. It's kind of problematic. Yes. No. Uh, and no longer limited, we have Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, Thunder Dragon Hawk, and Fire Formation Tanky. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, Yay! They, yeah they were dicking on um, Tribegate a little while ago. What? Careful, walk on the table on the mic. The bangs pop the mic really bad. I didn't feel like I hit the table that hard. It doesn't take much. Um, so yeah, um, that'll be coming into effect as of the first of this month, and uh, for anything that you have that you need to decraft, uh, you do get a little bonus as per usual. Um, so, I, like, it'll hit the consistency of the deck, and like, you won't be able to top deck an instant fusion and just be able to go off, but for the most part, I think the deck's I also, still fine. to be fair, use instant fusion to out a lot of floodgates. Like with, um, with what card? Well, you use like if they have floodgates on the field, it's often the card you use to extend to get an out. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, you summon Mad Dragon, you make a level four, you do the Zeus thing. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's where Masterball's at at the moment. Uh, but other than that, we have a whole lot of news from both our current release of... Uh, so- I was say, I can't, Cybernetic Access, is that it? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's it's coming out. Yeah, the next set. Cyber something or other. And then and the next, the next set. the OCG set of Duelist Nexus. Uh, so we'll start with our set. Uh, so we have the announcement of the second run of the Gold Prime support. Remember when I said it was good? See? I was right. You also refused to buy it at the time when yep. it was relatively cheap and now... Still refusing to buy it because now it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm going to nah. join you in that. I'm like, I'm not paying $20 each for these secret rares. No, they're that. like ridiculous. Why would expensive. I pay that much? Uh, so we get uh, a level 5 Psychic uh, that can special sell from hand and is an off-turn fusion summon. Uh, the fusion that it summons uh, can use multiple materials for the archetype as well as what the name monster. Th- if I say this card is busted, what do you think it does? Uh, it needs the replace monster. itself and put a body on the board. It's better than that. Okay, that's like I mean, just actually, one of the effects. It I was does. gonna say that's part of its effect. Uh, so its fusion material is its is the monster that you the did monster that the does the fusion. poly and Plus one or more of the others. Yes, and I assume when they go to grave they do something. No, not really. No. Not uh, so I'll just read it out because otherwise we'll be here for a while. I, I and was we already say it. Well, say it then. Uh, so, on summon, it equips cards your opponent controls non-targeting to itself, equal to the amount of fusion materials you used. Wow. So, non-targeting mass removal. It's like that, um, DDD. Remember that DDD fusion that did that? No. No. There's Only ever played, like, the two. <laughs> oh, okay. There's an Xyz that kind of did that. Um, but it gets better than that, because if your life points are lower than your opponent's, then it they cannot or negate. Uh, negate it. Keep in mind, all the other cards in the deck just reduce your life points by a little bit. Just to just do, enough. Just a little bit. Yep. So if you're going first, you reduce your life points by a little bit, everything activates. That's horrible. Um, they also get a rank 3 that lets them search a spell from the deck. Um, and if your life points are lower, you also get to send a monster from your deck to the graveyard. Don't know if that one's super good. Uh, they get two new quick play spells and a continuous spell and a trap, which I don't care to read. Continuous spells just another searcher. Ah. They already had a searcher. They just gave them another one. Literally just another searcher, really. Yep. With some irrelevant second effect, really. Reduce your life points by a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is um, some fun that's coming up. Um, it's probably one of the stronger pieces of... Uh, TCG exclusive support, support that we've gotten in a while. Yeah. Because the second run of B Troopers was fucking tragic. Remember the. Um, uh, they got extenders. Remember they got the fusion spell, which was. Uh, the fusion that was anti Beast Trooper support. Like, yeah. It was literally just a way for B Troopers to get super poly. <laughs> yes. Well, you may or may not know, but in the most recent set mm. that we're getting, we get their uh, level 5 fusion. They actually got a decent fusion when the OCG gave them okay. support. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, their one piece of support was not terrible. God, I wish the OCG would realise Dynamist exists. They did. Again. They just didn't care. <laughs> Again. I had the realisation the other day that uh, because me and Jake had gone to Worlds this year, spoilers, that was going to be, I think, talk about maybe a little bit later, because um, me and Jake had gone to Worlds this year, we can meet Tombox, probably. And we can tell Tombox. Oh, that, yeah, we can line up your fight. <laughs> yeah, you can fight Tombox. Who's Tombox? MST <laughs> on TV. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, set it up. I'll fight him in the ring. Oh, he's, he's American. Face is the horse. <laughs> <laughs> he's ah. American, right? He's Canadian. I'll go. To, I will fly to Canada to fight him. He's. I was so he's hoping you'd say the Konami I was hoping I so hard. Where... <laughs> I'll fly to Candina. <laughs> uh, so we get some uh, more TCG exclusive stuff uh, in the set. Uh, we get a pendulum monster that's kind of interesting. If you draw it, you reveal it, and you can conduct an extra pendulum summon for the turn. Just, you don't just give us two. Like, they've um, given us so many cards that can do it now. Just let us have the second one for free. And also, if it's in the scale and you pendulum summon, you put it either on the top or the bottom. Oh. So is it can, a... It's a scale one? Uh, the, oh, no, it's it's not... a scale 11. Sorry, my bad. So it I feel doesn't... like that's not worse. It doesn't... It kind of looks like a Draco Slayer, doesn't it? It's not, but it kind of oh. looks like a Draco Slayer Mech Knight or something. Kinda. Yeah, I could see that. Because it's got the same Whoa! vibe as um, Vector. It's what would happen if we, we were to fuse. This is the monster that would come out. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> if we had a baby. No. Okay. I didn't say that. I said fuse. You made it weird. 
Uh, moving on. Fusion. <laughs> Uh, we get a level 6 dragon tuner uh, that modulates levels um, and then it can bounce when it's sent to the graveyard. Yeah, when, and so it, it's a new Entus. Yeah. Except it bounces instead of destroys. Actually, doesn't it leave the field? No, no. just sent to the graveyard. Actually, actually really good. I actually saw this today in my little tiny bit of research before the podcast. Um, a Cyber Xyz that seems to resolve around, revolve around level 5s, which seems garbage. Um, a new pendulum support piece of card. Uh, banish five pendulum monsters from your extra deck, and then place a uh, pendulum monster from your deck or face up extra deck in your pendulum zone. Did that to say banish five pendulum monsters from your extra deck, not face up. No, no, banish five face up pendulum monsters oh, from your extra deck. Okay. I was gonna say you can just banish like all the yeah, shit ones. Yeah. Uh, but then in grave, you can uh, banish it and target a card in your scale and um, reduce its scale by one. So I'm not gonna support. lie. It's still good bad. The uh, increasing or decreasing pendulum scales, unless the card does it itself, yeah. has always been bad. Yeah, because you have to commit an extra resource to do it. Yeah, it's horrible. And that's not a and resource you you're already pendulum with. Have to commit two resources just to be able to pendulum summon. Yeah. It's literally worse than ritual summoning. Yes. Yep. Actually, it's not. But you can't just ritual summon again. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also Ritual Summon, you've got to send one as well, and then have the card and the card in hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dry from. Um, we do get a new kind Shout of... Uh, not Battle Trap. It's not a Battle Trap, but it kind of feels like one. Uh, if your opponent control... Uh, if a monster you're, you control is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect, place uh, face up into your field zone one field spell from your deck. Then reveal five monsters from your deck that can be special summoned with different names, and your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon, and the rest oh. go back into the deck. Okay. That's pretty cute. good. Yeah, that's cute. I don't mind it. The fact that it's not just by battle is cool. Yeah. Mm. And it's by opponent's card effect. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you can't trigger it yourself. Boo. But that's okay. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, we got some imports as well. Um, Wish Dragon, which seems odd, um, summons tokens, and that's as far as I care to uh, read for it. And it's dragon type. Yeah. Uh, um, we get that uh, plant disease that I talked about a little while ago that's like a bush and a goat. Yep. It's and two um, sort of rank seven or rank up seventh one interacty sort of traps. Yeah. Not very good. But I'm, I'm keen for that to come. The fact that it's super makes me happy because I thought it was going to be cop. Mm. It's nice art. The card's trash, but I like it. Um... So, speaking of rarities, we have some, if not most, of the rarities announced so far, other than Starlight. Um, so, for the Starlights, uh, we've got Visa Starfrost, which they released on the um, announcement stream. Uh, and then from Leaks, we have, uh, what's its name again? Uh, Despian Lulu Walilith. Good job, man. <laughs> so... <laughs> I have... Some, I'm having nightmares about that <laughs> later on with my speech impediment and list. Like, I'm going to be having nightmares. I have dramatic issues with the fact that we went from having good Starlight Rares as our fifth Starlight Rare when we first started getting Starlight Rares mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to now just getting fucking lore filler. And it's like... Oh yeah, you might not have picked up on this. Um, ben hates lore. Yeah. I hate the law too. No, no, not, uh, not the law. That's oh, okay. different. <laughs> he just, doesn't like storylines. You don't like uh, text. text. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> What's wrong with law? It's, it's, we get the same fucking law for the past three uh, look, years. He has. That is a good. I, to be fair, I thought the crawler law was pretty good. Yeah, the world we're still getting law. more law for it. <laughs> that upsets it, it, him. You know what? Stop. I. I'm actually with you here, but it would I would be completely okay with it. I'm trying my best not to bang the table much. I would be completely okay with it if they would just start giving us like action video games around this law. Like don't I don't want to just play cards. No, no, no. We're L getting something better. We're getting books. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll they, take they it. love a book. I'll take it. But like just give us a video game based upon it. Some of these storylines are good enough. Give us a video game. And give us a world chalice video game, hundred percent. Yeah, I'd do that, 100%. I actually, Put it on the I Switch. I want them to do, like, an arcane version of, like, series about these things. I yeah, that'd, that'd be, be that, I mean, to be fair, I'd say that about anything, arcane was that good. Like, arcane was so good. 
Um, anyway. It made me like Imagine Dragons. <laughs> that's that's some powerful stuff. <laughs> I have um, two Imagine Dragons songs in my uh, on repeat on Spotify. Damn, that's quite a thing to admit on a recorded podcast. <laughs> Damn. Um, so we know nine of the ten secrets. Uh, we've got Guiding Quem. Um, oh, this one's tricky. Um, Samucha Kunsanagi, the Lord of Swords. Careful. No idea what that is. A sense of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a dollar. That's a dollar. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. Anyway, uh, Albion the Sanctified Dragon, uh, Vicious Astraloud, which is a uh, Visus card, uh, the card I mentioned before, Despian Lulu Walilith, uh, Chaos Angel, uh, Peaceful Planet Calarium, uh, the Gold Pride uh, monster that does the fusion summon, and uh, Gold Pride better luck next time. Is that Peaceful I... Planet part of the whole, like, the Despair the Uranus? Visus. Thing? No. Oh, okay. No, that's part of the Visa storyline. Oh, okay. Every, I've never every heard of Visa's deck in my has life. gotten a PP something field spell. Not Castoria. Oh, no, that was Prussian Planet, wasn't it? Yeah. Prussian Planet Rathoth. Um, Rath- Rathoth. Rathoth. <laughs> um, yeah, so all of these secret rares are shit. Mm. Chaos Angel's great. Would you like three of them? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. No problem. Take it, take it, take it. Have Perfect. It. I want this noted. Have if he pulls them, he got, has to give them to I me. could not want to open a set at the end of this? Really? Oh, it's... Oh, never it's mind. Paper towel. It's paper towel. I thought it was... I don't have my glasses on. Okay. <laughs> anyway, know. yeah, all these secret rares are shit. The only ones I would want are the ones for uh, the deck that I already forgot the name for. The race card deck. Racist. Oh. We're going racist. Yeah, in fairness, there's just not a lot of support for decks that you actually play. <laughs> the racists. Like, in theory, you could pick up the Chaos Angel uh, for Dragon Maid uh, Bestial. You could do that. Yeah. I don't see do. anything in this set being worth more than 10 bucks. Hey, Jake, what's your least favourite race? <laughs> I don't like Monaco. NASCAR, I don't like NASCAR. Yeah, yeah NASCAR shit. Yeah. yeah. Also running. Yeah. I, actually, I quite like running. I don't look like it, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we know nine of the 14 ultra rares. Uh, so we've got an Ice Jade, which I didn't realise I was still getting support. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Diem card. I won't go through too many of these. Uh, there's a Libromancer card in here. Oh, that's the um, OCG support, of course. I miss the days where it was just four bits of support. You'd get four sets, and that would be all Instead, the support you'd get. Nah, and then five years later, you'd get a bit more. They don't have an anime anymore to pull cards from, so now they're just like... Oh, yeah, because they made Ru- uh, Rush, right? Yeah, now they're just like, we have lore lines. Mm. Prepare for three years of each lore line. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the anime, you've given me a great uh, point Jake to... a great segue for quick. him to now look for the segue. Let's yeah. talk about something else to ruin the segue. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Palkia. Yeah, Pal- is that what that is? I thought that was Arceus. No, oh. that's horsey form Palkia. That's Arceus. Where the hell is Arceus this Arceus could get it, you know. God. Okay. God damn it. Sure. Uh, that's not it. Uh, God ben, damn it. you've got the option. This cup to have it of have it on with the, the the queen like the night before she dies. Do you do it? What? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Um. So, uh, not too long ago in the OCG, they did a sort of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stream updating us on stuff that's going to be coming out in Duelist Nexus. Uh, one of the bigger things that was announced was a brand new monster type. Oh yeah. The illusions. Oh yes. So they're seeing. Hmm? It wasn't the segue I was aiming for, but this will do. Um, But the uh, deck that they're um, focusing on to start with for the illusion uh, typing is a retrain of Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast. Anime tie-in. Not the one I was looking for, but this one will do. Phantom Uh, Beast. (laughs) Yeah, so they're counted as Phantom Beast, but there's now illusion like an an illusion type of monster like Sabo, Sea Serpent. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm saying like Phantom Beasts... All Mecha Phantom Beasts also count as Phantom Beasts. I don't see how this would help them, but... No, nope. um, can't wait for this new thing to ruin so many existing cards. Not, not make them better. Just make Konami have to pointlessly errata us so much shit. Uh, they didn't have to when they added in Cybrass, right? Yeah, but there's a million cards called Illusion. <laughs> oh. 
There's a lot of cards they call illusion. So from what I can tell of the typing so far, illusion type. it seems to be like a lot of hand and graveyard interactions. They all sort of like do <laughs> something like banishing. It's because yeah. Konami has not come up with a deck that isn't just graveyard based for like six years. Like Cash Tira. Yeah. Do they do <laughs> nothing in the graveyard? No. They don't interact. They with banish it at all. from the graveyard. No, they just banish everything. Oh, okay. From the deck, the, from the hand. They've also so one. Macrocosmos. They've come up with one. <laughs> yeah. Pog. Metaphys didn't have to interact with the graveyard, but also it's bad. Um, <laughs> anyway. Thanks. Um, so they get <laughs> um, they get four new main deck monsters. I think two of them have the illusion typing and then one's a beast and one's a fiend to be retrains of like yep. Burfamet and... Um, the... Beastmaster Cerberus. Is that what it's, what? Is that what it was called? Nah, I just made that up. I was going to say that's not what it's called. Um, but anyway, um, they also get a fusion <laughs> spell. Uh, so Guardian Chimera is uh, a target for this new fusion spell. Yeah, because it's a part of the archetype. Yeah, no, but it gets a benefit because of it. There's something, I can't remember what, no, exactly what the fusion spell does. Is it uh, called Polymerization Grave? No? God damn it, Jake. There's one job on this podcast. Do you, you know prepared. how many fucking links I have to look through, you stupid bitch? I just have them memorised as to where they are. Well, I don't have eidetic memory, like you. I can't even read, so... Especially <laughs> not without your glasses. Uh. Um, and we also did get an announcement of a new arch- well, new support for an existing archetype, which I w- hoped would never yo, happen. Yo, what is that? Hmm? Hey, yo, what are you looking at? Oh my god. I don't know why that's showing up. <laughs> is Jake pulling a team sorceress? No. I think he's pulling Alex Jones. Wait. <laughs> Where the fuck is this link? Um, so I found pudding, it. Yeah. Aha! Okay. The pudding. Yeah, the pudding. <laughs> so, the next archetype that is getting support in Duel's Nexus, and again, I hoped it never happened, is Altergeist. It's I, okay. I it's actually not. read all this support. I don't think it's good. I've seen combos of it. It's actually bonkers. <laughs> so, when you say you've seen combos of it, does it mean that the Altergeist monsters can do combos? Because I'm fine with this. Yeah, yeah, they they do combos. Yeah, I'm, I'm It's okay all to set this. up more back row and the gates, but yeah, it's very much As long as they set up at the end, I'm cool. I can Nibiru Altergeist. This is fine. So, they've got uh, one that is a tuner, um, hoping that maybe people will play the synchro that they yeah, have. The Altergeist Damn. Dragon, <laughs> of it, finally. You know uh, what? If there's summoning from deck, Altergeist Dragon's fine. Right? Because that's what it does, doesn't it? Summons like a level 5 from deck or something. No, it's when it's tributed, it summons itself back. What the fuck am I thinking of? No idea. But anyway, you're thinking um, of uh, Gradle Dragon. <laughs> yeah, I? I think you're legitimately thinking of Gradle Dragon. Um, so yeah, this uh, tuner, when it's added to hand, except by drawing, it special summons itself. And then can target an alt- altergeist in your graveyard special summon in defense position, but its effects are negated. Uh, so again, just making itself available for synchro plays. Um, they've got uh, one that's a foolish bro. Um, so it sends an altergeist card from hand or deck to the graveyard when it leaves the field. Um, and if it inflicts battle damage, it draws a card because it can attack directly. It's a level one 500 attack. It's kind of <sighs> mellow sick, but worse. Um, they get a link three. Um, so if it's summoned, uh, set an altergeist trap directly from deck, uh, and then, uh, send a card you control to the graveyard quick effect, target an effect monster your opponent controls, take control of it, and if you do, it's treated as an altergeist monster. So they get their own comic hand. Okay. Well, comic hand was so good the first time. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and then they get No, a... shut up. It's doing <laughs> much. I'm not agreeing with that. <laughs> Um, great. And they've got a new Reborn trap. Um, target an Altergeist Link monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and then a graveyard effect, banish it from grave, and conduct another normal summon of alt- Altergeist. Um, I'm fine with all of these so cards. So Marionetta is not once hard, but hard once per turn to set the trap. I'm still fine with these cards. I don't like any of them, because I don't like the idea of Altergeist getting support. I reckon they should this. put Multifaker back to one. I mean, if the support ends up going as well as I You know what? Will. I actually hope this becomes a tier zero deck. It's a bold claim. We can only hope. <laughs> so, um, also in Duelist Nexus, we have a new Synchro support card. Um, if you can have a tuner or on your field or in your graveyard, add a Synchro spell trap from your deck to your hand. That's fine. There's about 20 targets. The That's main fine. one will probably be... Um, I can't It'll be a Stardust card. It's fine. Yeah. 
But Synchro overdrive or something. Overtake? Synchro overtake. That'd be what people add. Um, we also get a uh, new support card for Dark World. Um, this card's good. Yeah. This card's really I good. I have seen this, this card really as well. Um, add a Dark World monster from deck to hand, then discard one card. This card's very good. Yeah. Uh, once per turn. Unnecessary. Which is a bit out of the <laughs> thing. Uh, but they also get that new fusion in the next set as well, so it seems really good. Yes. That card is Finally justifying really the existence good. of the structure deck that they released. Yes, I like, need to find some structure three or four decks. Three months ago. Surely you'd be able to find them somewhere. Surely they didn't sell out. They're very expensive. Uh, any structure deck from a while ago is forty dollars each now. No, they minimum. reprinted. They did a new one. Oh, yeah, they did a new. Dark yeah, World yeah, it's not deck. the original Dark World. But no, but it's a Dark World support structure deck that they only released. Like, maybe all two become or three more expensive. Ago. Yeah, like later on. Yeah, it'll yeah. be fine. You'll find it somewhere. It is okay. Um, also, in Duelist Nexus to celebrate the twenty uh, fifth anniversary, they have released a new magician card. It's real shit. Yeah, it's, it's fucking terrible. Shit. It's, it's real. Actually, it's real. I don't know how they looked at this and like, yeah, this is. This will get this, the people hype. This is a celebration yeah. of everything we've done. A card that's somewhat dark magician, but not really, and ties in nothing to the archetype and has a garbage effect. Yes, I don't know. I it's reckon only way B team type people will be more time talking about it than anyone ever should have. Yeah. The only way that can justify its existence is if it's like a super exclusive in like a ridiculous rarity. No, even then, it's it's Bring that makes it worse. Rare. I don't mind that then because it, then it's like ten thousand dragon. It's just one of those hype cards you pull and it's worth a fuck ton of money. Oh my god, Jake! No not reason. all of those tabs are for us, right? Yes, they are. Twin. Okay, there's a lot. Um, we get the fire charmer of the one that you pulled a starlight of. Good. Discard, search. You're locked into fires. It's gonna take Fine. so. It, I, honest to God, don't know if they'll ever give us, like, a light version of it. They, they we gave said, us a light link, so... Yeah, yeah. I didn't but, think they'd ever give us a light or a dark link, and they did. The dark link became I, busted. If I they gave us a light or a dark one, it would actually be fucked. The channeler is already pretty good. Like, imagine it with a light or dark. Like, especially dark. Yeah, Like, dark you'd have so many things then. Dark, it becomes a bit busted. Fire's good, too, because... Uh, Fire Salamine Great Volcanics Burning Abyss It's more Volcanic support Burning Abyss isn't Fire type Isn't it? It's dark Absolutely not <laughs> Was it burning then? Because <laughs> it's Dante's Inferno Holy shit Black I, um, I knew this too And I fucking oh. So we've got some support coming up for the archetypes that were in the set that you liked with the fire hydrants. I can't remember what it's Dark called. Dark Abyss. Woo! Rescue Ace. What was, what, was the, what was the set called? Uh, amazing Defenders. Yes. Because they're amazing and they're Defenders. Uh, so Makanko defend? gets a card if it's in hand or graveyard. Uh, does uh, It equips itself to a card. And then during the end phase, if it's equipped to a monster, return it and the equipped monster back to hand. Um, and then a trap which uh, equips stuff from deck. Yep. God, the Monkonko stuff is awkward. Oh, and then can inflict 500 damage. So that's Ooh. their winning time card. Hooray. Um, that's them hitting people with a hose. Always back to no, hose. No, no. That's the fire hydrant deck. Oh, is this a different deck? Yeah, I, yeah. I zoned out for half a no, second. That's you know, Monkonko is the one that Bragg likes. You said too many words at once when I just yeah. I zoned. <laughs> Uh, Pearly also gets some new cards. Um, they get a new Xyz. Um, I don't actually know what it does. It doesn't seem amazing, but it can set the trap. And yeah, the now people trap... play the bad. It forces you to play the worse Pearly cards, but at least it rewards you for it. Yeah. The spaghetti Man's happy about this. Jesus Christ. Uh, where is the tab for the boys that Ben likes? Uh... So the fire oh, hydrant the... monsters... <laughs> so Jake intentionally hit the fire hydrant monsters away. No, I found them. Uh -huh. Genuinely really good cards. Of the three, it's probably the best. They're fucking nuts. Um, so yeah, uh, they get a new level 8. Uh, banishes any rescue ace from the grave to special summon. And if you control Just another one. rescue ace, uh, target effect monsters your opponent controls, change them to face down present defense position. Yep. Uh, okay. And then new uh, new quick play spell that's always treated as a rescue ace, even though they called it emergency. emergency. They could have easily just called it rescue ace emergency. But no, all like, of them nah, have that, that little bit of text that says that same thing. But that's dumb. Well, it's alert. Why make and... it an archetype if you're not going to put any archetypal words in and then have to add something in later? I'm again fine with this. Stupid. It's cool. 
Um, special is one from deck in defense position, and then you have to tribute another one from your hand or field. Um, and then you can banish it from the graveyard to target one of your traps and set it. Literally turns every card in the deck on. It's just like, yep, cool. Activate this. Everything is on. Sounds like it's turning Ben on. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, do kind of like, yeah. Summon level one. He does enjoy it. Um, Get to engrave. Summon big guy. Set four. Uh, by the way, the boss monster in that deck. Set four spells and traps from deck. So it's not just magical any. musketeers. Just set four from deck. Of its archetype. Oh, this is any. No, no, no. Of its archetype. It's archetype. Yeah, that's exactly what Magic Musk is. Ah, it's... Magic Musk is a shit. Well, yeah. True. So um, uh, for Magic Musk, do you have to activate one to do that? Mm. This is just an on summon. Four. So it doesn't activate. Oh, well, yeah, it activates. But you, like, you activate, you summon it, you. You're trying so hard to sell this archetype, and he's just like, oh, it's it just does great. this. And you're like, no, it's really good. It has an imperm <laughs> that stops the monster that's been imperm from being used as a material for a special summon. It has another one that, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, has DD Crow. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's summon. really cool. Um, a bunch sure of it'll add to all of its tops. <laughs> I want Lopez with it. <laughs> Rescue Ace is the best deck. Why aren't you playing it? I like the art for this. Because I have yeah, fun it's cool. with It's like a, a little uh, little mermaid sort of looking yeah. dolphin. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, there's a whole bunch of other little uh, monsters that aren't tied into anything that uh, have been yeah. released for Those. Doors Nexus. This yeah. one's probably the more interesting of the ones that Very I have. Very cute. Um, so yeah, um, it's Click and Echo, Sea Serpent Level 2. Uh, can it be used as Fusion, Synchro, or Xyz material? Uh, also cannot be attributed. What's it called Cat in its name? It doesn't. I say Click and Echo. Yeah, what do you call me? Neko is. Hmm? No, Neko Echo. Ah, uh, Echo. Echo. Okay. Click. Echo. I was like, why does Dolphin have a cat? Ampersand. Echo. <laughs> cat is called Click the Cat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, can't be, can't be used as material for pretty much anything. Um, if this face up, uh, yeah, if this card is sent to the graveyard as leak material, special summon it to the uh, other player's field in defense position. Um, and if it was summoned uh, by its a second effect, uh, the player has to keep their hand revealed. Forever. While, well, it's, while on it's on the board. And it can only be used for a link summon. Correct. Damn. So potentially some shenanigan plays with Sprite. Shame no one plays Link anymore. Um, Sprite do, but also Sprite is like... You pretty much have to play a cringe version of Sprite. It's also level it. 2, so... Yep, that's, that's, that's what Sprite Sprites. does. Sprite's all level 2. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got here? Don't care about that. I'm clearing out some of these because I don't want to talk about them. Jake just actively doing his pre-podcast job on the podcast. You shut your fucking bitch face. Oh, um, we've got a quick play removal spell. Um, oh, no, sorry, it's not removal spell, but it interacts with that. Uh, during the main phase, if a monster leaves a field by an opponent's monster effect except by being destroyed, activate one of these effects. End the main phase and skip the main phase one of your opponent's next turn. Nice. It's not bad. Not amazing. So it ends your main phase but skips theirs? It depends on which main phase you're doing it in. It's a quick play spell. Ooh. So if you use it on your so opponent's main So if your main phase... opponent uses Fenry to banish one of your monsters, yep. you activate it. It's now the battle phase. Except they're removing it in the battle phase. Ooh. Not always. If you've activated something like an Ash Blossom on their uh, Cacheteria of Theosis or whatever it is, then they Fenrir banish your Mirror Jade. I feel like this but is it... a you problem, Jake. I'm just I'm just I telling you cool. the way the card interacts. You're assuming okay. that Fenrir only activates in the battle phase. Uh, we have a continuous trap. Uh, Kiriban, if 10 or more cards and or effects have been activated this turn, special summon this card as an effect monster... Uh, when your opponent activates card or effect while this is in the monster zone, you can destroy as many cards they control as possible, then set this card back in your spell trap. I was really hoping I was going to say you win the duel. <laughs> <laughs> we discussed this card Say so you win the match. I, I was really hoping that it was going to say, like, if this is 10 cards have been activated this turn, special summon it, if your opponent activates an 11th card, you win the duel. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's not so far-fetched. Give, give a hand trap that says if your opponent activates 10 or more effect card effects, special summon this card. If your opponent activates an 11th card effect, you win the duel. I feel like it's probably a little too busted, to be honest. I've no. always thought they should make 
a card that says draw three, and if you don't win by the end of the turn, you lose. Activate it first turn. Yeah. FTK to XP, like, well, yeah. I, I, I don't yeah. come off from losing anyway. <laughs> Um, so, um, circling back to Master Duel for just a minute, um, so we've been discussing uh, the Duelist Cups for a little while as to how they work and what you get and all that kind of thing. It seems like we might have been a little wrong um, because they've announced how to we wrong. qualify. You were wrong. Bitch, fuck off. Okay? We definitely weren't wrong. I was wrong. Uh. Oh. I wasn't uh -huh. wrong. They Me wrong. either. Historically, you've been wrong quite enough. No, no, uh, no wrong game. So, Christmas Day. <laughs> it came out so, on Christmas. It didn't. So, um, they are going to be doing uh, WCQ events in Master Duel in the next month. Um, so, they're running, it seems to be from the 26th to the 29th of May to get into the first stage. It works very much like the Duelist Cups in that you go up Duelist levels and once you get to a certain point, you're into the next stage. Um, the difference is, once it gets past that, um, you then go into teams. So you go into teams of three and effectively works as a best of three, but you're only doing one duel each. Yes. Why? I don't know why they're doing it like that. Um, it seems really pointless. Like, there's a point team? to go to Worlds. We're yes. going to do invitations to Worlds. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. You need to get your own invitation to Worlds. Worlds? Yeah, we're going to Worlds, Jake. I didn't get my invitations. I'm just, ah, it's I'm just fine. paying to be there. I love that copy pasta of we'll just Jesse Cotton up. being like, World, World's Points, bro. <laughs> Remember, it's like, Jake, I love that copy Jake, pasta so much. Jake, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. We buy a cafe. <laughs> this sounds like we, every conversation I have with Brad. you up <laughs> real good. <laughs> Many have tried. I can teach you. And then <laughs> you get to be a professional UK player. Where did the cafe come into it? We need a place to get cakes from. We just need supply of cake. Bakery well, can't we just out? buy the supply anyway? We don't yeah. need the physical... No, because it'll... We'll, we'll have a it'll room. It'll pay for itself. And once you're the size of the room, then you're good. <laughs> People can't be like, Hello, yes, I'm the winner of Ecuador. Ben, are you calling all of the people... Ecuadorian fat. No, I'm just saying that the person at World's Retro isn't going to question you on this. It's anyway. going to be like, if I say no, I could get in trouble here. Have you seen the that video of the um, the like Asian dude who's like, just pretend you don't speak English when you're leaving the parking lot and you don't have to pay the ticket. Just be like, well, I'm not doing that. But uh, just... He just puts on like this full Asian accent and the guy just beeps him through and he never posts a parking ticket anymore. Oh, Jesus. Um, moving on to our Discord, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Take give up on the news. Oh no, the, the rest of it's garbage. Um, so, first question comes to us from 656. Uh, does the c for g team prefer battle bots or robot wars? And if you were to build your own robot, what type of robots would it be? I never be? watched battle bots. I always watched robot wars. I prefer metabots. That was a great show. <laughs> We've mentioned that a couple Genuinely, of times. Genuinely, metabots is a really good show. I know what that is. It was basically Pokemon, but with robots. Everyone had like their own robot. I thought that was Digimon. Chips in them. <laughs> yeah, and this like one dude had like chips. a real yeah. broken chip that like was it belonged to some company, so they were trying to take it back all the time. Yeah, yeah, the and like, like you could they upgrade the idea, yeah. their parts. <laughs> but there was just like this judge that would just fucking be everywhere. Like whenever someone was like, "Let's fight." It'd be like this comedic scene of how the judge just so happened to be there. Oh, kind of like, like... kind of like the uh, our truth, right? Like it, with his twenty four seven title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you even just speak English just now? Yeah. I'm gonna go saying. with yes on that. <laughs> so Brag, we back can me move on. on. Um, so yeah, I can't remember which of the two. I've definitely watched both, but I which one came first? I don't know. I, think it was I, a I literally version. didn't know about battle. I don't know what BattleBots is. I mean, it's the same premise. I don't think well, there's any so. direct difference. I think BattleBots was the one that I watched. So I like the one with Wars the hammer. The new one? Hmm? Robot Wars is the new one. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah, no, that was still BattleBots going. would have been the one that I was watching then. Yeah, yeah. I used yeah, to yeah. watch this when I was real young, and the ones that would flip those were always the best ones. Yeah. So I liked the hammers, but they never looked like they did a lot of damage. 
What did you watch? You ever just on? unlock memories in your brain? No, I. It was definitely BattleBots was the one that I watched, and I had the toy line. I had, had all. Toys? They had RC cars of all the popular BattleBots, and I. I, wasn't I aware had of the this. one that was the Black Knight that had like the. Axes and go. I'm starting to think that you grow up, up. grew up as a rich kid in secret. No. Because I definitely didn't get a whole line of battle no, bot they, they RC were just like, cars. They weren't like RC cars. <laughs> no, they I got were like three video um, games a year. Like, <laughs> they were like Hot Wheels that you wound games? up and like shot at each other. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, machine. I watched that one as well, yeah. and the main difference between the one that's on Netflix now and the one that we watched when we were younger is that the one we were younger, they had like house robots that were just ridiculous. Yeah, like it, was it was also real shit. There was like, no safety standards. stab a lot, and yeah. like, <laughs> it was just like this massive robot with like a lance, and it just come and just like, literally just like... Lance? Just, it'd be going yeah. like, dude, 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 and the other one just be like, I flip, I flip, yeah. I flip, I flip. He's just got a little thing going... <laughs> 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 I reckon they with they should uh, here's the thing with with uh, Robot Wars is currently it, it's not changed much but like what we need to do is get that um that company what's it called um Botco no the one that does the yeah, 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 yeah. the dog Boston Dynamics they need to get Boston Dynamics into Robot Wars that's what I want they, I want to see those dogs never make fight. a weapon no, it's, just, it's not a weapon. It's like, on a if you make a flippy one, it's not a weapon. Yeah, it's, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys see the Boston Dynamics robot that they sent him for a rescue the other day? No. no. They were like doing rescue testing, and they're like, "In it goes. It's gonna save someone." And like, in it went, in it went, in it went. And the moment its paw touched rubble, it stopped, and it's like, <laughs> and a flip. <laughs> oh god! Robots are taking our jobs. He <laughs> gave up the moment it touches rubble. That, I'm not saying um, that. Okay, <laughs> as, <laughs> yeah, that would be me in a. As for the type of robot that I want, there was one I was watching on the Netflix one. It was literally just like a spinning top, effectively that had like small wheels on it. It was just like it's the outside blade. that fucking spun. Effectively, it was a Beyblade. Like, but the thing is, if you let it go on too long, it got up to such ridiculous speed that it was like a force field once you hit it. Like, because it slowed down once it was impacted, but then it would speed back up. Yeah. So you had to, like, strike it repeatedly. Well, so, so it didn't have, like, it didn't have a stop. No. No. I no, love it that. It just kept going. So they started up there. It's a vortex. This one was rotating and had to, like, move slow, otherwise it'd get off kilter. This one's, like, come towards it, and then it's built up enough speed. It's hit, and it's just gone, BOOM! <laughs> My god! <laughs> that was a big pop of the mic. I realised when it hurt my ears. <laughs> yeah, it hurt our ears. Probably hurt their ears. Yeah. You should Fine. you should bass boost that. <laughs> Can we get sued for making something too loud? Yes. Not that. The lawsuit goes to Jake. Okay, we've agreed. I don't exist. I don't anyway, um, yeah. So that's the kind of robot I would have. I'd just have a spinning top. Um, yeah, I, I, I would want the oh, hammer, but I want it to be better. Can we, we can make yeah. a robot, right? We're making a robot. Like, goes, I can barely make breakfast. Can't we put all of this? <laughs> we can probably put all these things on. Yes. All right, like, one. like, if, if, you know those inverted half, uh, half pipes? Or quarter pipes? Yes. The, like, you yes. know, usually they'd be a circle. Yes. In. Yes. Do it out. And then as it's spinning, it just has that circle on the outside and it comes up and then it's got a hammer on top too <laughs> and it also has a flamethrower <laughs> the flamethrowers are useless they are but the they ones that cool. come out with a flamethrower i'm like what are you doing <laughs> it look really cool <laughs> that's all it does like and it needs to be able to spin from both sides right because that the ones that were the best were once they got flipped over they just kept going yeah that well, was the, the only the benefit of the flippy ones is like they <laughs> do this and then they get that, and then it they do the flip. Like and oh, ring. like you remember the um the Simpsons episode where Otto's in like the arena and he's got the bus, and he like gets flipped on the side, so he puts out the stop sign and it knocks him back up. <laughs> That's effectively the only benefit of having the flippy ones. Although I think I think I've on the new Netflix one, I did see a flippy sign. one that was massive, and like the, it, I think one of them because in the new one I think you're allowed to have like the little helper drones, so. The That's helper drones cool. came out in front while the other one was like advancing and it got in front of the flippy thing and it just flung it to the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fucking yeet, bitch. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
Next yeah. question. Next question. Um, oh, God, don't tell me we're out of questions. No shot. I, I think we are. Jake, be like, we got a lot of questions this week. I didn't say that. I One never said question. that. I well, never no, said earlier that. Earlier on, he I said, said we got a lot of questions, then asked us a question. He hasn't now asked on the podcast, but apparently now we're out of questions. There's no way. No, no, that's it. That is it for questions. Jake doesn't so, want me to get rowdy with the answers. <laughs> There's the bit where I can have the most input. <laughs> it's always the part that got the worst. <laughs> when it was limited to Yu Gi Oh! it was fine, but then the questions just made you feral. Alright, Bragg. I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. Oh, Christ. So the Queen is dead, right? <laughs> Thank you podcast. all very much for watching and listening. Uh, if you are watching us on YouTube, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening to us on Spotify, please favourite. Jump into our Discord. Uh, ask us some questions for next week so that Ben's lust for questions can be fulfilled. And we will see you all then. See ya. Bye.